Hi there, and welcome to Polywog Lagoon. I have the Paw Patrol here with me today, and we are going to be opening up some surprise eggs, as well as reading a book, Itty Bitty Kitty Rescue. Let's get started. Okay guys, I think we're going to open up these surprise eggs first, and then we can do the story. Don't forget to subscribe if you like watching our video so you can see many more fun ones to come super soon. Hi there, Rubble and Zuma. Which egg do you guys think we should open first? The yellow one or the purple one? Hmm, <gasps> yellow like Rubble's helmet. Woohoo! Okay, yellow surprise egg coming up. Oh boy, this one is heavy. What could be inside? <gasps> oh, it's a bunch of race cars. Jackson Storm, how are you doing? Jackson Storm is so fast. <gasps> It's Mater! Hey, Mater! Hey, guys! And the good old classic Flo! Oh, yeah, look at Flo's wings back here! Oh, she is a styling ride! Fillmore! The Volkswagen bus! Oh, yeah, nice and mellow! Lightning McQueen! ka -chow. Hey, Lightning McQueen! Cruz Ramirez! The new super-fast Dynaco race car! And these cute little guys, Luigi and Gudo. Oh, we are so glad you could join. Now that we have some new friends, they can help us open up this giant purple surprise egg and read this story. Coming up quick is the giant purple surprise egg. Let's get to opening. Okay, guys, what might be inside of this egg? <gasps> it's High Five from the Emoji Movie. Hey, High Five. And poop. Oh, stinky little poop. And jailbreak. How you doing, jailbreak? Smiler. And Jean. Yay! It's looking more and more like a party with all of you guys here. Oh yeah, my tires are all fixed up now. Oh, Mellow Fillmore. Mm -hmm. Yeehaw, guys! It's my favorite time of the video. It's story time. Today we're going to be reading Paw Patrol, A Little Golden Book, Itty Bitty Kitty Rescue. Based on the screenplay, Pups and the Kitty Catastrophe by Ursula Zilger Sullivan and illustrated by Fabrizio Petrosi. It was a warm, sunny day. Chase and Rubble were having a great time playing catch at the beach. Then they heard a far-off cry. Meow! Meow! A kitten was clinging to a toy boat out in the water. Uh-oh, Rubble exclaimed. That little kitty is in trouble. We need to tell Ryder, Chase said. Hurry, we need to get Ryder so we can help out this poor little kitty. Chase and Rubble raced to the lookout to tell Ryder about the kitty. No job is too big, no pup is too small, declared Ryder. He pushed a button on his pup pad and sounded the Paw Patrol alarm. Woo woo! Minutes later, Marshall, Sky, Rockies, and Zuma joined their puppy pals at the lookout. Paw Patrol is ready for action, reported Chase, sitting at attention. Here they all are! Rubble, Zuma, Rocky, Chase, Marshall, and Sky! A kitten is floating out to sea, Ryder announced, pointing to the viewing screen behind him. We have to save the itty bitty kitty, exclaimed Rubble. Then he straightened up and added, I mean, <clears throat> we have to save the kitten. Zuma, your hovercraft is perfect for a water rescue, Ryder said. Ready, set, get wet, Zuma barked. And Sky, Ryder continued, I'll need you and your helicopter to, f to help find the kitten quickly. This pup's got to fly, Sky exclaimed. It's time for Sky to fly. <laughs> and Zuma to use his hovercraft. Zuma's hovercraft splashed across Adventure Bay. Ryder turned his ATV into a jet ski and followed. Up above, Sky zoomed through the air. She quickly spotted the kitten. We are here to help you, Ryder said, easing his jet ski to a stop. The little kitten jumped from her boat and landed on Zuma's head. The startled pup fell into the water. Zuma yelled, don't touch the... The kitten accidentally hit the throttle and raced off on the hovercraft. Oh no, itty bitty kitty's taken off on the hovercraft. The hovercraft zoomed around the bay. Overhead, Sky turned this way and that, trying to follow the hovercraft's twisting course. This kitty is making me dizzy, she groaned. Oh, my goodness. 
Ryder pulled up next to the hovercraft and jumped on board. He stopped the engine and gently picked up the shivering kitten. Everything's all right, he said, pulling a slimy piece of seaweed off of the kitten. Let's take you back up to dry land and get you cleaned up. Later that day, Rubble skateboarded into Katie's pet parlor with, with his new BFF. Ah, uh, whose kitty is that? Katie asked. We don't know, Rubble explained. We found her on the bay with no collar or tags, just this purple ribbon. Does the kitty witty want a nice warm bath? Rubble asked. Meow, the kitten replied. Do you want me to do it? Katie asked. Cats can be a little tricky to bathe. Tricky, Rubble said. Not this little sweetie. I think a certain Rubble likes a certain itty bitty kitty. But the kitten had other ideas. The moment she touched the water, she jumped away with a screech. Arr! She scurried along shelves, knocking over bottles of shampoo. Rubble slipped on a spinning bottle, and the kitten fell into Rubble's skateboard and rolled out the door. Push! I think Rubble's in for more than he planned on. Down the street from Katie's pet parlor, Ryder got a message from Rocky. A little girl is looking for her lost kitty named Precious. Ryder recognized the kitten in the picture the girl was holding. Before he could say a word, Precious rolled past on Rubble's skateboard. She skated down a hill and disappeared into town. Oh, look at her there on the skateboard. No, itty bitty kitty, come back, come back, Precious. Chase, it's time to use your super sniffer, Ryder said. Chase needed something with the kitty's scent on it. Luckily, they had her purple ribbon. Chase took a deep sniff. She went that way. Chew! Sorry, cat hair makes me sneeze. <laughs> Achoo! Oh, I'm allergic to kitties. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Chase followed the scent until he found Rubble's skateboard at the bottom of the town's hall steps. Good sniffing, Ryder said. Ryder and the pups looked around and saw a shocking sight. The kitty was inside the town hall bell tower. Ryder pulled out his pup pad and called for Marshall and his fire truck. We need Marshall! Woo, woo, woo! I'm all fired up! Marshall said as his fire truck screeched to a halt in front of the town hall. He arrived at the same time as the kitty's owner. Ryder told Marshall to put up his ladder. We need to get the kitten down from that tower. I'm on it, Marshall declared. He extended the truck's ladder and carefully started to climb. Look at him going up to the top to save itty bitty precious kitty. Marshall reached the top of the ladder. The scared little kitten was clinging desperately to a rope in the tower. I'll get you down safely, Marshall said. Come here. Meow, Precious whimpered. The kitten jumped from the rope. She tried to grab Marshall's helmet but missed and clutched his face instead. Whoa, Marshall yelped. He couldn't see. The ladder shook and Marshall lost his grip. He and the kitten fell off the ladder. No! Ryder caught Marshall and the little kitty tumbled into her owner's arms. Precious, the girl exclaimed, you're okay. You owe these brave pups a thank you for all their help. Whenever you need us, Ryder said, just yelp for help. Oh, look at that. Ryder saved Marshall and she saved her little itty bitty kitty Precious and all is well. The end. Wow, great job guys, saving the itty bitty kitty. You all did such a wonderful job. Thank goodness for you and your ladder, Marshall. And Skye for your little helicopter. And Zuma, you too, of course. You all did such a wonderful job of taking care of the itty bitty kitty. Yeah, guys, that gets a high five for me. Okay, we are all done reading our story, opening up our surprise eggs. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We had a great time, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.